broadcasting live from homes all across the country. It's Adam Blotner's Live from Lockdown Variety Hour, featuring performances from Greg Gilman, Lucy Greenbaum, The Resignos, Danny Morrow, and Jeremy Rowley. And now, be like Attorney General Bill Barr and drop everything. Here comes your host, Adam Blotner. Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday to you. Oh, oh, that's a lot of applause. I actually don't know how long this sound effect goes on. Oh, there it is. That's how long it goes on. I've never played it full out before. We are trying new things tonight on uh, Live from Lockdown Variety Hour. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday. Uh, let's see. Uh, everything outside is crazy. So let's have some fun here. I hope you guys are having fun at home. Uh, if you're of legal drinking age, I hope you have a drink nearby uh, or whatever your vice may be. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We've got a really, really fun lineup of folks tonight. Um, some cool stuff. We're going to have a premiere of a uh, music video for Mr. Greg Gilman. That's exciting. So I hope we have some Greg and Greg in good company fans tuning in tonight for that situation. Uh, I'm going to start us off with a song. Um, there's a short film that I worked on that uh, I, I did some music for it a, uh, a couple years ago, and it just came out, which is very exciting. It's called Zero Issue, and it's up on YouTube. You can check it out, Zero Issue. It's a superhero mockumentary, so it's about a fake superhero. And I thought, you know what, in these times, we really were craving a, a superhero. And um, they, they, when I wrote these songs, they wanted uh, songs that sort of sounded like these pop hits, you know, but were knockoff versions of them. And one of the ones they wanted was a kind of knockoff version of the song Hero by Chad Kroger from the Spider-Man. Uh, it was an early 2000s franchise known as Spider-Man uh, from that, from one of those Spider-Man films uh, they wanted. Anyway, that's a very confusing intro. They wanted a song that sounds like Hero by Chad Kroger. Um, so this is the song I wrote. It's called Savior. I'm going to do it for you now with this beautiful track that was uh, co-produced by Mr. Brian Del Toro. He did a lot of the great, great work on it. Here we go. Oh, wait, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Okay. Here we go. I was riding an eagle just the other day. When I saw a bunch of people needing to be saved they were tired and sick by illness they were consumed they were in desperate need of someone who could heal their wounds and they all shouted where can we find us a savior to save us today I hope it comes soon, cause we're busy, we ain't got all day. So I told them all to get some rest and have some medicine. They say that a savior can save stuff, and I'm gonna save everyone. I was riding my dragon. Just the other day When I saw a bunch of people Looking touristy Oh, when they'd become lost They could not find their way They needed someone With the power to save the day shouted where can we find us a savior to save us today i said fear ye not people thy savior thou wished for is me so i showed them the bus stop and said to take bus 88 
I'm sure it's coming soon. I'm not going to stand here and wait. Yeah. I was fashioning mountains just the other day When I heard someone shouting near the river bank She was drowning and the river could sweep her away I had to do something I knew she must be saved and then she shouted where can i find me a savior to save me today because i'm drowning out here and now <laughs> Without skipping a beat right away, I knew what I must do. So I called the police and told her that help's coming soon. And they all shouted, where can we find us a savior to save us today? I hope it comes soon, cause we're busy, we ain't got all day. And I'm watching you all every moment of every day. So you'd better be careful, cause I hear everything you say. Oh, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, so if you need a savior, just give me a wave. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that one. You can check out Zero Issue on the internet. Um, Google it. That song plays over the credits. You know, no big deal. Okay. All right, my friends, it's time for our first guest. And uh, uh, guests who are backstage, I switched around the order. Sorry. Okay, our first guest. Let's hope they're ready. Um, these guys are great. Uh, they actually tie back to last week's show because they, um, they, they, we had Mike Hatch on the show. And Mike Hatch writes for these guys all the time. Twin brothers, Paul and Robbie Resigno, write and star in a musical comedy act, The Resignos. You get it? Which has earned both uh, awards, critical acclaim, and praise of both of their parents. Both hold BFAs in acting from Syracuse University, where Paul graduated summa cum laude. Robbie only got magna. Bring up your game, Robbie. They have appeared on stage and on television, both together and apart. For efficiency, some TV credits they both appeared in include The Resident, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and Odd Mom Out. They can be found posting pretty infrequently on Twitter and Instagram as uh, The Resignos. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul and Robbie Resigno, The Resignos. All right. Hi, Adam. Hey, guys. I, I have to say, what it's so nice to hear uh, the sound of applause, which is unusual both now and while we were doing our show normally. Yes. So this was, this really, was <laughs> it's really a treat. Yeah. Uh, that's good. That's good. You guys. Well, you're welcome. It's, and it's real, you know, <laughs> everything about it is real. Nothing manufactured. Also, no. I love your jacket. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have a similar one. I, uh, I do actually. Yes. Yeah. I have a, I have one in green. Is it accessible? I should, can you, it's can you put it on before the end of the show? <laughs> oh, I don't have it here. No. Okay. All right. Um, guys, we have a question of the week. Yes. Okay. And the question of the week is, what's something that everybody loves 
that you guys dislike, maybe individually or together? Paul. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's a fair answer. Yeah. Um, mine is mine. Mine is food. It's food related, I should say. Um, okay. I'm I'm gonna say wine. 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 Yes, and and here's why. It tastes bad and it gives me a <laughs> headache. So why would I put that in me? Yeah. And it's just so incredibly frustrating. It seems everyone just loves it. And there's everyone like- Everyone loves it. Yeah, it's like, oh, let me just have my glass of wine. I'm like, you're lying. It's terrible. And it makes me sad because I like grapes. Yeah, right. Think of, wait, now think about this though. Okay. Okay. So what, Ready. what, I like grapes, but what have grapes given us? Wine? raisins and dimatap. So think. it's like grapes are that friend that you like and then you go see their show and you're like I can't be friends with you anymore <laughs> because I don't respect your work. You have you've thought a lot about grapes. I just to know I, name me a baked good that isn't ruined by raisins. It's true. It's true. No, you know what? I'm I'm definitely an anti-raisin. I I am, I want to curse right now, but I won't because I don't know who's watching. Thank you. This is a family-friendly <laughs> show. My parents are are uh, you know early seventies. They're watching. So, um, no, all right. Uh, my mother's almost seventy. She'll, she'll Probably be. enjoying a glass of wine, begrudgingly. <laughs> I'm guessing. Enjoying, you know what? People drink wine just to spite you. I think. Well, it's like it's also the gift that you always bring to house parties. And why? It's just like a you well, know because maybe everybody everybody's just it. that's the thing. It's everybody just, actually likes it. or everybody's trying to get rid of it. There, you don't pass true. it on. Maybe it's all regifted wine. There's also so much wine anxiety when you're in the store and you're looking at like I've spent an hour in a liquor store looking for a last minute gift to go to a house party, which right. just I mean it's no longer last minute then. That's true. That's true. Well, now we know thing. your secrets. <laughs> no, I have a lot of I have a lot of food ones, but um, like I, I don't like bananas, and I feel like a lot of people like bananas, but I don't know if bananas are they're universally loved, right? I'm I'm not a big are they banana divisive? person. You're not a big you know, banana person. I have a lot of food things, but right. a lot of the food things that I say I don't like, I've never actually tried or tried right. once and been like fine with. Right. Like I've had, I've no, yeah, I've had an avocado once. Oh, wow. You know what? But you're from Delaware. He tried guacamole as like an adult adult. Yes. I had, okay. I had guacamole for the first time probably. Late stage guacamole. Three years ago. Yeah. All right. And since? Guys. No, just yeah. the one time. This is too many things. I'm sorry. You asked for what? I'm sorry. Just too, you know what? We're getting a whole. <laughs> we the whole hour. Let me just talk about foods I All hate. right. All right. What, what do you. What do you. I, we could talk about it all night. Okay. Um. You know what? When you come back on the show, the next question of the week is what what vegetable have you had one time? <laughs> and then we'll go and then that'll we'll okay. Can you introduce uh this video that, that you have for us? Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you want to do well, it? This is like just a classic a classic Resigno <laughs> show clip. It was I think 10 years ago yeah, when we were only eight years old. Yeah. Uh, wow. We, the song is written, as you mentioned, by your oh, yes. guest from last week, the great Mike Hatch. Mm -hmm. Um, who writes a lot of our original material. And it features another brilliant performer, Rebecca Wiener, and uh, Aaron Jodwin, I think, on piano, I if I'm not so, mistaken, yeah. yeah. Awesome, all right, here we go. And you know what, is it where is this at the duplex? This is, this at, is the at the duplex, duplex. in New York yeah. City. Great, last week we had Darius Harper did a thing at the duplex, so, so we have two duplex shows in a row. Here we go, Great. let's check it out. I will be competing in the Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> also known as the games of the XXXI Olympia. I don't even, what, I just, my event, the long jump. You have lost your mind. Move over, or move over Irving Saldino of Panama. Well, you're not gonna be a long jumper. What? What makes you think you can do this? Because I can jump really far. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I, this, I need to win an Olympic gold medal and this is my one shot. I just think you might be setting the bar a little high. That's high jump. I'm just, I think this may be out of your reach. But how else am I going to win a gold medal? It's been my dream. Listen, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just thinking maybe you want to try winning for something that requires no athletic ability, like curling. Oh. <laughs> curling. <laughs> You know, that really ruined my job. I'm sorry, Doc. Can, can I set him up again? Okay, thank you. Like, curling. Oh. 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 
damn it. But I really like to sweep. There you go. <laughs> Dreams are like a rainbow, impossible to track. Just lower that rainbow, expectations will match, and you'll see. It's not about giving up. It's more about accomplishing easier things. So just adjust your dreams, and the world will reach out a lending hand when it seems that your life is approaching failure. Some goals just don't pan out, no matter what you do. So just adjust your dreams and they'll come true. So wait, set the bar lower? No, no, just set the bar different, for example. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. Wow! Exploring every star there was to be seen. Well, it turns out training was required, and NASA school is expensive, but I accomplished my new goal of seeing Apollo 13. So just adjust your dreams. Life is hard. Grab some minor victory. Don't swim upstream by setting lofty expectations. Success is all relative with what you set out to do. So just adjust your dreams and they'll come true. Hey, let's hear from some of our friends. Rebecca. There was a time I had a dream of working at Target, but those really ambitions good. turned to dust. They weren't hiring the day I went, so now my dream is set on trying that pizza, that pizza with cheese in the crust. That was great, I can add it. See, Paul, it's easy. You can adjust any of your dreams. I don't know if I really want to. Oh, come on. What's another dream aside from winning a gold medal? Give me an example. Come on, trust me. I want to be a big showbiz star, a dream that's continued to grow. I know if I try and give me my all, I'll be on Broadway, nope. and movies, on TV, on TV, on TV, on TV. There you go. <laughs> Disappointed if I've been ambition on So just adjust your dreams. Things are hard, so don't try and do bad. Don't try extremes, only if there's no chance of failing. No matter your endeavors, there will be people better at them than you. So just adjust your dreams and they'll come true. They'll probably come true. There's a chance that they'll They might still not come <laughs> Guys, what a delight. What a refresh. Are you drinking wine? It's all we had. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Well, that was a fun trip down memory lane. Thank you. You're welcome. That got that was that was a lot of fun, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, all right, stick around, drink your wine. I can't believe it. The the literally the thing that you said, and and are you having avocados too? Don't tell me. <laughs> no, we're 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 limited to what the Instacart shopper will bring us. <laughs> totally, totally. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having stick us. Stick around, we're gonna wave goodbye to uh, all of our guests. At the end, now I want to say something. I usually at the beginning check in with my guests in the comments, and uh, I noticed the comments seem a little light tonight. And I actually realized that uh, there's an issue. I was given a heads up about that the platform I'm using was was warning that uh, comments made on Facebook uh, profiles. So if you're watching this on my from my Facebook profile, comments made on there will not show up for me. Here on the platform, and I can't put your comments up. I can only put them up if they're on YouTube, uh, where people like Matthew Tobin said when I mentioned Chad, Chad Kroger, he said Kroger's is a good place to save. So if you're on YouTube, I can put your comments on here. 
So if you have a computer and you can switch over to one or the other, if you go to adamblotner.com slash live, it's an easy link. If you want to join us in the commenting, you got to be on YouTube. And I'd, I'd love to see your comments there. But but keep watching wherever you are. Um, but if you want to join in the comments, you got to go over to the YouTube page, at, at which you can link through adamblotner.com slash live. Um, otherwise, um, I'm just getting uh, YouTube stuff here from uh, my wife and Matt Tobin. They're very active here. And Steve Beard says, ever eat an olive off the tree? You will only do it once. I have a feeling Steve learned that the hard way. Um, all right, my friends, it is time to bring up our next guest. And again, because I switched up the running order, they have no idea who that is. Um, oh, he's in the same slot. Okay, this is exciting. We're going to get a premiere. This gentleman is the singer-songwriter behind the L.A.-based Americana band Greg and Good Company. If you live in SoCal, you may have heard this song, Monster's Lair, on 88.5 FM. If you don't, well, that's too bad. Now you get to hear his latest single, Isn't Any Wonder, premiere. This video is going to premiere right here on Adam Blotner. That's me. Adam Blotner's live from Lockdown Variety Hour. He's going to join us. I'm looking for his banner. Oh, my God. Did I put his? Okay. He's Greg Gilman. You guys give it up for Greg Gilman. Hello. Look at this guy. What's up, Greg? I a smile on my face watching the show. This is so much fun. Ah, oh, well, thanks for joining us. You, you've, you've got, you've got just real LA vibes there, man. Yeah, you know, I know, I know things are, are a little bleaker on, on, you know, in the New York area. So I want to bring some sunshine and some, uh, some good vibes in your life. There's no sunshine. I said that, but uh, you know, there's like well, a, you know, it's it's late, late evening. Well, we're we're glad to have you on. Um, question of the week, what's something that everybody loves, but Greg Gilman is not a huge fan of? You know, I thought this was going to be a hard question, but it came to me real quickly. Milk. <laughs> Dairy, d cow milk. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't, I like, I like cheese, I like ice cream, but like just milk by itself to me yeah. is like not good. I never, yeah, I'm a little kid never liked it. I was never like I eat cereal dry. I think that's how cereal should be eaten. You won't do soy milk, almond milk, I've tried oat milk. It. Yeah, it just it's just gross. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know, I respect that. I I I'm suspicious of anybody who likes milk too much. <laughs> you know, that's just weird. But it, it is amazing how people are really like hooked on it. I mean, when I was growing up, like, are are people hooked on it? Yeah. I mean, it was in in my culture growing up. It was it was huge. And I assume just white person culture in general. Everyone loves milk. It's true. White and people like, love I'd milk. Like sleepovers, and I'd be eating, uh, you know, cereal with no milk, and the parents would like stop and question me. Like, okay, I I got some good. I, I have to mention these comments, Craig, that were made here. Matthew Tobin says those are nut juices. <laughs> okay. And Lynn Von Thayden points out that her infant – oh, wait. I didn't mean to click on the legume byproduct of liquid. Lynn Von Thayden says that her infant survives on it. So, you know what? <laughs> it's okay to be obsessed with it if if you are of <laughs> breastfeeding age. Back on people who like milk, I did not – I would like to say I, I just personally – I don't have strong feelings against people who like milk as Adam stated earlier that he did. <laughs> So I just, it's just awesome. weird to right. like it too much. If you're an adult, I don't know. If you're an adult over uh, 80, that's fine. Or over 80 or under two. You know, but what I, what I, um, I make up for my lack of milk by drinking lots of wine. Uh, Good. Wow. You know, when, when they said they don't like grapes, I was like, you know, laughing, but Paul. More for you, man. More for you. All right, Greg, what? What tell us about this exciting thing you have for us? Yeah, this is a brand new single. It's called um, what is it called? <laughs> is it any wonder? It's a track that I recorded pretty much on the fly right before this quarantine started. Uh, I was very fortunate just to uh, go to my producer's place and try to work out an NPR uh, video for Tiny Desk, but then we forgot to put the desk in the frame, 
So uh, I couldn't use that. So, but the audio turned out great. I turned in a single, and then being bored in quarantine, I thought, you know what? Wouldn't it be cool to go to NASA and just use their footage and try to make something cool? And so that's what I did. So this is absolutely all footage from NASA's uh, video library. All right, and this is a world premiere here on Adam Blotner's Live from Lockdown. Here we go. Is it any wonder why they all look at you? Is it any wonder why I smile when they do? Is it any wonder why I look at you too? And I sympathize cause I know that it's true you're one of a kind and I'm so glad you're mine is it any wonder why they all talk to you is it any wonder why when they do Is it any wonder why I talk to you too And I sympathize Cause I know that it's true you're one of a kind It was worth all the time I spent talking to you sympathize cause I know that it's true you're one of a kind it was worth all the time I spent falling for you is it any wonder why they all stand Is it any wonder why I know you? Is it any wonder why I stare at you too? And I sympathize, cause I know that it's true, you're one of a kind, it was worth all the time I spent staring at you. Greg, Greg, my man. That's fantastic, man. Beautiful, beautiful song. Thank you, man. Thank you, I was man. just in, entranced. Entranced. Congratulations. Thank you, man. 
And you and you you edited that together yourself. Yeah, I made that. Yeah, I make uh, make all my music videos myself. That's great, brother. Really enjoy it. Um, th thank you for for joining in with us. We will wave goodbye to Greg, but he will be back to wave goodbye at the end. You can follow him and his amazing band, Greg and Good Co, on Insta. And uh, we'll, we'll see you in a bit, Greg. Thank you. Thank you, my man. All right. So good news, everybody. I, I, I put, so even though we're not getting Facebook comments, I pulled up Facebook on my phone, which is on a slight delay uh, from this broadcast. So I can see your comments right here. And uh, so if you comment there, great. Let us know where you're watching from. Who's out there? Besides my good friend, Matt Tobin, who's always brilliant in the comments. Uh, who else is, is out there? I, I do want to point out some things that are happening in the comments here. Brian Del Toro uh, said, great milk. Great milk. That makes me uncomfortable to think about. Uh, and then uh, Greg is, he's going to be launching a quick, a kickstart for great milk wine for infants. This show is spinning, spinning out of control. Uh, it's off the rails. I don't know if we'll get it back. Uh, but we have another guest we're going to bring in. And uh, maybe she'll bring us back. Maybe she'll bring us back. We'll see. Um, all right. I am so excited about this this next guest. Uh, I, I met her through. Uh, we worked the same summer camp and run in the same circles. And she's just fantastic. Um, she's able to inspire individuals and build community through her music with melodies ranging from folk pop, rock, and everything in between. In 2018, she was selected as one of Jewish rock radio's Jewish stars. And though this op and through this opportunity, she recorded her latest song, Le Taken. Previously in 2017, Lucy recorded her debut AP, Sing Your Strength. It's a beautiful EP uh, with kosher style records. When she isn't writing music, Lucy works at Congregation Share Ameth in Lu St. Louis, Missouri where she serves as the music and youth engagement coordinator. Lucy's recordings are available anywhere music is streamed or sold online. And uh, she's been posted. You can, you can check out her music at lucygreenbaum.com. She's been posting these beautiful uh, musical mantras. I don't know if they're daily, weekly, they, they've uh, alternating, um, but they've just been gorgeous. And, and they're, they're, so calming and soothing, and I was so excited that she agreed to come on the show today. Please welcome Lucy Greenbaum. Hey, Lucy. Hi, Adam. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. How's St. Louis? Uh, today was pretty warm, which was a nice surprise. It's been very cold and rainy, so. Oh, good. All good. Yeah. Good. Good. Um, our question of the week: What's something that everybody else loves? But Lucy Greenbaum just is not is not feeling it. This was a hard question, but I I did have to ask. I phoned a friend. Um, okay. My answer is going to be sushi. Sushi. Yeah. All right. People go have you had sushi? Day. I've had it once. I could give it another try, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm not a sushi fan either. All right. Good. I I it's Wait, cold and slimy. I don't, I don't, agree with that. Yeah. I don't do, <laughs> I don't do cold and slimy food. Great. Except for jello. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jello. Right. Yeah. 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 That's not in any way similar to sushi. You know, I've never really tried to compare the two. And you don't need to. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> um, Thanks. <laughs> uh, what, um, what, what are you going to do for us? Um, I'm going to sing a cover by the alternate roots. It's called Nothing More. Awesome. All right. Here we go. Lucy Greenbaum.
such a way that has no end. We are love. We are one. We are how we treat each other. When the day is done, we are peace. We are war. We are how we treat each other and nothing more. Tell me what it is. that's full of endless possibilities and heroes don't look like they used to they look like you do we are love we are one we are how we treat each other when the day is done we are peace we are Nothing more. Lucy, that was just just gorgeous, just gorgeous. I'm sure the the, the word that comes to mind is disarming. I, when I hear you sing, I'm just whew, it just all it, it all just melts away. So thank you so much for joining us. I I um I was thinking too when you jumped in, you know, right away with this heartfelt tune. I was thinking that you are a song leader in Jewish community. And I think that the strength that song leaders have, among other things, is flexibility to just dive in in any context and just bring it. And and you yeah. really brought it. And uh, thank you so much for, for being here. Thanks. Thank All right. And we'll check back in with Lucy at the end. Let's check in on our comments. Um, okay. Kevin Story is joining us. Good evening from the Bronx. Good evening to you, Kevin. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, and like I said, if you're on Facebook, I can't, I can't post your comments here, but I can see your comments. I got it right down here. And, uh, and I have this toy that I'm playing with, fidgeting with in my hands. It's like for fidgety people. So, um, if you see me wave that and you're like, what is that? My wife got this for me. I'm a child. Um, all right. Matthew Tobin wonders if you've tried raisin milk sushi. I'm telling you, man, we've spun out of control. The wheels have fallen off and there's no coming back. All right. Um, we, we have we have one more guest tonight. And um, these these guests are not they're not with us live right here uh, because they have a young child at home. And he makes the rules of when they are and aren't available. And um, I'm I'm so excited. They said, let's pre-record a segment. Um, and we we met up at a time. They said, okay, this time they're 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 mean people. Um, they they gave me a real specific time, and that was the only no flexibility. Um, but but I said, okay, we'll do it. And we shot this this video. I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna introduce them as if they were here. It's two folks. They're a couple. First one, Jeremy Rowley. He's an actor and a writer, best known as Lubert on iCarly. He has been on Modern Family, Key and Peel, and currently writes and does voices on Bless the Hearts on Fox. The other person is Miss Danny Morrow. She used to be an actor. She used to be an actor, writer, and Groundling Sunday Company alum, who you've seen on iCarly. Since quarantine, she's a mom who recently became a teacher, chef, organizer, personal assistant, cleaner, and overall exhausted person who keeps pushing up the acceptable time to start drinking every day. They are Jeremy Rowley and Danny Morrow. I'm so excited they came on and, and uh, to join us on the show here and to pre-record this segment. Boy, did we have a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna play their video for you now. Uh, here they are. Wait a second. It's gonna take me a moment, set them up. Usually have the guests chatting about their uh, video while I do this, but you just got me. That's it. All right, here they are. We caught up the other day to talk about their neighbor. Hi, Adam. Hey. Hey. Good to see you. Yes. It's great to see you guys. <laughs> How are How you are, doing? We're, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. All is good. How are you guys doing? 
Well, we're, uh, yeah, we're, yeah. Doing, you know, yeah. we're doing the best we can, but yeah, it, I it. mean, all, you know, quarantine's hard. It is hard. You it know, is hard. Some people, I think they say it's hard for them, but I think it's probably harder for us. Yeah. You know harder, I mean? harder for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you out of toilet paper or are you? Oh, no, no. What's no. going on? Why not? We, got, we yeah, took we, more than our fair share yeah, of that. Yeah, we're definitely yeah. stocked up for a few months on toilet paper. Yeah, if not, yeah, yeah. If not it, and you guys have a little one at home, so that must be that must be real hard. Yeah. It is, he, but you know, he he's actually doing great. He, he's great. Yeah, our he, problem yeah. really is our neighbor. We, I mean, we're having a big problem with our neighbor, to be honest. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a bit of an emotional um, and a trying trying yeah. when you have such months. a horrible person living next door to you there's this woman yeah what, what's going on well um what's not going on i know it's, oh this woman we have you know it's one of these classic just terror terrorizing terrors living next door and it's like we're at our wits end we don't really know what to do and yeah we thought maybe we'd bring it up on your show today to try to get people to just pay attention and just let the neighborhood and the world know about oh. What a terrible person. Sure, sure. I mean, I was hoping you guys, you know, maybe had a, a bit or a performance, but if you want to use this platform to complain about your neighbor, you know, then. Um, it's not so much complaining as it's like a public service. It's for other people. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, if they also have horrible neighbors, they. Oh, so it's know. universe. So well, but tell us what's going on. Oh, uh, this woman, I don't even know her name, really. She's oh. only been there a few years, so I wouldn't have yeah. had an opportunity to uh, to figure that out. Yeah. She just, um, there's a shared patio area. And first of all, there's a list of things. But there's a shared patio area where. It sounds hard already. I mean. Uh, I mean, right? Yeah. yeah. You have a, to share a patio. Exactly. We were exactly. here first. We were here first, so it's like, okay. So that should basically be our patio. Yeah. Right. I mean, I know it's technically shared, but if I moved into a place and it was like, just like oh, this person was here first, so okay, it's there. Like that is like a logical right. way to go. That's back. right. That's how the patios go. And and what what is she doing? Well, when I called the police about that, they said we can't help you. And then she had this smug look on her face. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And you know, it's like there's things like she's a fan. In her, she has in a her fan. unit. She has a, and it's it's not like a hand fan. Wait a second, hold on. You called the police about the about her sharing the patio with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And now I don't want to say anything negative about the police at all. I think it was more this woman's influence on the police, but yeah. they were no help. They, they were, were no, no help. help at all. Oh, I'm so I'm very surprised to hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I am too. It's yeah. it's shocking, but at least I told. You know, Jeremy, I said, at least we're starting a paper trail, you know, of yeah. incidents against this woman. So the police will know. Right. Thing, you know. That's what you got to do. You got to start a paper trail. Yeah. When you're nice, we're nice people. Mm -hmm. When you're nice. Yeah. Nice th sometimes. When you're too nice, it's hard. The world's harder when you're too nice. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. And and what what's the what's the fan? You started telling me there's a fan incident. Oh. So yeah, so okay, she's got a fan, and it's you know like Jeremy was saying, it's not like a little fan. Oh my god, it's like did hold. you? Is this a jet engine? Yeah, because when she turns it on, it's like you can hear like, and it's like, and it's like that's how can fall throughout the day, and it's like please i need some quiet like i'm trying to nap here it's 3 p.m and i need my nap i'm already under screamed. enough emotional duress i just like, pound on the wall and i just scream uh, let us go guantanamo bay let us free you know and then she just no response she yeah. has, acts like she doesn't even know what i'm talking about yeah and you then know, you you when well, you gave me a taste of the of the fan noise and i'm thinking that there might be something with you know i, I know that there's sort of an auto you know on the internet it, it it will reduce the sound if there's a real loud sound, you know. So I'm, I'm trying to get a sense of kind of how loud, because what you did seemed kind of quiet. This the noise you made. Well, can you can you give me a, a I mean maybe another taste of of what the any, any, sound is. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's intermittent, which is even more like oh. Yeah, sometimes it'll stop and you'll think finally. And All then, right. 
And I'll go, and you're like, damn it. Right. Once again, police. No, no help. You called the you called the police about about that noise. It's okay. a noise complaint. We, it, I mean, that we feel so we're so angry that this woman is wasting the police's resources know. in this way. You know, like that so, she's forcing us to call them exactly, and like she's playing this game of like, <laughs> um, you guys are overreacting, and oh, everything you're complaining God. about is crazy, and she plays that game so well oh, victim, that even like victim, it's rubbing off on the cops. Like guys, at the, it doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, that doesn't sound loud at all to me. Maybe. Well, here's, you know, maybe and maybe it's internet thing. Is, is there anything else that, that she's been doing? I can understand your confusion completely. I know why you're confused. We have really good ears, like to the point where we get compliments on our hearing. And I just think, wow. like, I actually can predict when earthquakes are going to come. Mm -hmm. Like that's oh. how my ears are. Like I'm like a dog. You hear it coming. I hear it coming first, and I'm like earthquake. And we have we yeah. have at our house we have seven seconds notice for every earthquake. Mm -hmm. We have a full yeah. seven seconds to prepare, and it's not fa that's not fair, but that's that's life. Yeah. We yeah. you know have certain advantages by the gifts we were born with. Yeah, exactly. And then you know when I like to do a lot of like movement throughout the day on the like I like to do a lot of dance. I like to do practice mm -hmm. like my stomping and, and a lot of and she does a lot of expurgations a lot of oh yes oh, like just get out like okay and, so, all right and know. adams you're not gonna believe she actually she actually complained about me <laughs> i mean she i mean guys me. guys it's it, guards it's like the guards at auschwitz being like these prisoners are getting okay on. all right you know what but i'm gonna have to draw a line it, you know making comparisons with auschwitz you know it sounded like you know, now I can hear it. When you made those, the grunting noises, it was much louder mm -hmm. in my ear. So I know it's not a, a, a subjective thing. It sounds like you guys are being much, much more, much louder, much more of a nuisance. I don't think you heard. Okay, there's some facts you're forgetting. First of all, we're very nice people. Um, we're I, the, Right, right. I forgot about that. Second, mm -hmm. um, I have to, I have a lot of self-tapes I have to audition. She has to do self-tapes. I had a monologue. Oh for NCIS New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't wow. with that fan do it. going around. So if if and when that show comes back, we're out of we're out they're of, we're out myself, of that opportunity. Yeah, they're gonna put myself up on and be like, uh, I can't listen to this woman's acting right. because I'm so distracted by right. this. Person. So if you don't get in NCIS New Orleans, it is your neighbor's fault. Is that that's what you're saying? <laughs> and now that's, you're getting it. That's money. That's that's money. money out of our pocket. She's practically stealing from our bank accounts at this point. Which is, is, again didn't the cops didn't yeah. even hear that. They couldn't you call the that. you called the cops when you did your audition. And we, we said she Absolutely. stole from us. Yes. And we told them how and they they were just, you know, cops bless their hearts, they try. Yeah. But they're overwhelmed. Sometimes you get they get here to a very simple situation that makes a lot of sense. And they've they've just been dealing with something so traumatic that they're not hearing the common sense that we're giving yeah. them, you know. Right. So it's not their fault; it's this woman's fault. It is. This, yeah. I don't know what her name is. Let's yeah. call her. And 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 what has what has her reaction been? You know, have have you have you confronted her directly, or has she come to you? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We send the police. We don't. We yeah. Would never. We're not getting involved. In fact, like you know. Never, yeah. This is a, the smart thing to do if you ever find yourself in this position mm -hmm. is that we just say, you know, we've had instances where she's left a note or whatever. And we just be like, oh, we don't know what you're talking about. We pretend that it's not us that's complaining because we don't we don't want that. Because you're because you're so nice. Because, because we yeah. don't want right. to have this kind of conflict. And like, I, we're not about drama. Like, we are we not are drama so people. We are so not about oh my God. drama. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, this. There are people who are less about drama yeah, than, than us. us. Oh, yeah. this sounds pretty dramatic to me. Can you tell me what, what are you hoping, you know, to get out of this, you know, you, you don't want to confront her directly. No, the well, police aren't helping. How, how what, what do you want uh, to happen? People will see this, we're hoping people will see this. We're, we're starting a petition actually, um, to get her out yeah, of the city. We'll send it to maybe oh, out of the city, yeah, yeah. 
Um, we want to we want to get the if we can get a million signatures. I know it'd be unprecedented, but maybe we can met, get the city council, the mayor, the governor to just say, "You got to go. You got to move out of the city. Something reasonable." Yeah. You want her to move out of the. You want to get the governor's <laughs> signature to get her to move out of the city. Yeah, something reasonable something, like yeah, that. Something Not like that. something punitive. Something that makes life better for everyone. But you know, if it comes to something punitive, it that's out of our that's hands. Out of our At hands. this point, that's what she's asking. Sure, for. sure. Well, you know, you got yeah. You're really. I I see you really taking responsibility. You know, and and, and accountability. Thank for you. the things you're doing and and you know we're all there it's true there's nobody nicer than you two Thank you. and um and I really woman sees this and everyone in los angeles sees this and they just you know the shame just falls on her at night like like a weighted blanket yeah you know? yeah okay so you don't you you said before that you don't you don't wish you know ill upon her but you do hope that she that shame falls upon her like a weighted blanket yeah, that's yeah. not, I mean, that's just, uh, um, that's just uh, a metaphor and like a metaphor. You know, it's kind just, of a metaphor. Yeah, it's just like a metaphor. It's not real. It's word metaphors play. metaphors yeah. aren't real. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. They're pretend. All right. Um, well, well, I, I really appreciate you guys coming on and, and giving, you know, what was, seems like a, a, a public service announcement. Thank yeah. you, Adam. Yeah. And, and, and I hope this goes right up to the governor's office. You know, I, I think he may be watching. <sighs> oh, that would be great. Oh, yeah. Governor Newsom. Yeah, please. Please intervene. I, I feel like, you know, this should probably shoot up to the top of your priority list yes, right now. Yes, please, your know. next press conference, please. Please address this. Address this. Please. Okay, well, I, I appreciate you guys uh, really looking out for, for the general good, and I, I, I hope that you you can get some space on your patio. And I, in the meantime, I'm just imagining your interactions with her <laughs> where you don't acknowledge any of this, and you're both you know on the patio. Do, will you, do you sit with the, her the, out on the patio? Delightful. I actually just pretend I don't even see her. <laughs> I just walk around. Even if she's there, I just pretend I don't see her. I just pretend, oh, yeah. So you so you otherwise get along great. Pretend she's a ghost. Yeah, I pretend she's a ghost. <laughs> I pretend she's not real. Because the more I disassociate myself with her, the more I'm hoping she'll disassociate herself with her rudeness and her selfishness. Kill her with kindness. It, yeah. E evict her with kindness. Kill her somehow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> metaphor. That wasn't, metaphor. That, wasn't metaphor. that wasn't a real threat. That wasn't a real threat. That was a okay. metaphor. Not real. Yeah. All right. We were otherwise pretty worried uh, about the gravity of this situation. and uh, But thank you guys so much for, for coming on and, and giving this uh, PSA uh, to you. our viewers. Yeah. Appreciate More it. people need to yeah. to hear our story. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, and this is this is the voice for for that. Thank so thank you guys, and and I hope you uh, I hope quarantine can get a little bit easier for you, and and I hope she uh, has the shame of a weighted blanket fall thank upon you. her soon. Hug, hug, uh, okay. hug. hug, hug. Oh my God, you guys! Oh my God, is everybody still out there? I know it's weird. I'm here. I was there. Oh boy, that was just so much fun. Um, they are are just just ridiculous, incredibly talented people. I insist um, that you follow uh, Jeremy's Instagram account because Jeremy has been posting these gum review videos that are just outrageous they're so funny uh he's like in the bathroom or something with just like a flashlight i don't even know what it is it's so strange and so funny i insist that you follow uh jeremy on on instagram uh to check out those gum review videos it's just like nothing else all right let's check out on the comments here um okay we have we're mentioning uh uh, Governor Newsom, uh, Humox 2012 says, win some, new some. Uh, Matt Tobin says, new some of the right people. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, anyway, great stuff. All right, my friends. Before we wave goodbye to our guests, 
I'm going to close this out with a song because it's my show and that's what I'm going to do. All right. Um, so uh, the song I'm going to end with here uh, in, in 2018, I released an album uh, called Step to the Left, Country for Liberals. And uh, it's available on Spotify and iTunes. I don't Is iTunes a thing? It's like they call it Apple Music. I can't keep up. But wherever you listen to music, you can check out Step to the Left, Country for Liberals. Um, I'm going to do a song from Step to the Left, Country for Liberals. It's got some good spirit to it. Uh, it's called I Got Friends of Various Ethnic Backgrounds. And it's true. Though the lineup tonight might not indicate that. Uh, I thought... I thought about that and then I thought, well, it might be a little too on the nose if I have a more diverse uh, lineup uh, and play that song. Anyway, it's a fun song. I hope you guys sing along at home. We got a track here. A lot of my good friends played on this one and uh, it's got a nice, uh, uh, some, some fun uh, fiddle parts from Matt Tobin and, and other folks. So here we go. It's called I Got Friends of Various Ethnic Backgrounds goes like this. Turn it up, everybody. Turn it up if you're at home. Party in your living rooms. We got Stephen from Samoa and Diana from El Salvador. We got Sophia from Slovakia and Kachimo from Singapore. I had to Google that one. Well, most of us have ancestors who traveled here from over the sea. We gotta care about each other cause we're all one big human family. From the east to the west, the south to the north and back down. I got friends of various ethnic backgrounds. Give me pupusas and samosas, pitas, margaritas, and hash browns. Cause I got friends of various ethnic backgrounds. Well, Natasha is a physicist and Luke's a cook in the mess hall. Ollie placed in Bali and Naomi's bush and blush at the mall. But when it comes to drinking, if you're black, brown, red, blue, or white, no, it doesn't make a difference, baby, when we go and turn out the lights. That's right. We dance to hip hop, pop, and lock and merengue when we're headed downtown. I got friends of various ethnic backgrounds. We're living out a dream that our great great grandparents passed down. Oh, I got friends of various ethnic backgrounds. Well, if you never get to know somebody that ain't great, misunderstanding leads to fear and that fear leads to hate. But just outside your comfort zone, there's friends, I bet. Cause an enemy, someone whose story ain't hurt, yeah! We got Master Max Kupish laying down some guitar. Woo! We got Matthew Tobin laying down that sweet fiddle. If I find you talking like a bigot, then I'm gonna have to lay the smack down. Cause I got friends of various ethnic backgrounds. So if you're a human being, come on, let me hear you in the back now. Sing it all the way from your living rooms, let me hear you. I got friends. Oh, you sound great. Well, if you're not big on judging races, we can slip on down to the oasis. Cause I got friends 
of various ethnic backgrounds. Oh, I got friends of various ethnic backgrounds. Yeah! yeah! Shalom. Thank you so much, everybody. Once again, you can check out Step to the Left, Country for Liberals on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play, wherever it is that you want to check out your liberal-themed music. All right, let's check in on the comments. Uh, here we go. Uh, I don't even know what some of these things are about. I think there are inside jokes happening within the comments. Um, there's things about gum. Oh, I was talking about the gum. Kevin Story only wants avant-garde gum. Um, Humax 20 tells us you've got a real gumption listing all these off-market flavors. Uh, okay. Um, Kevin Story, he did sing on that song. He said, all I did was sing at indeterminate pitch during the chorus several times. I think we were all thinking that. Um, so I'm glad he said something. All right, my friends, we're going to bring back our guests. We got the Resignos. We got Lucy Greenbaum. We got Greg. He's muted himself. That's all right, Greg. That's all right. That's all right. And, uh, Danny, Danny Morrow and Jeremy Rowley who are not here. Uh, maybe they're watching either way. We'll say hello to them. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I hope you guys stay far away from uh, uh, wine and uh, uh, sushi and um, uh, milk and all those things. I hope you have everything you need and you're comfortable at home. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thanks, everybody, for watching the show. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. All right, let's say goodbye to our guests. Bye, everybody. Bye.